Hey, what's going on, everyone? It's B. Avery here, and thank you so much for tuning in to this episode of Just My Opinion. I really do appreciate it. But before we get into this opinion of mine, help your boy out by clicking that subscribe button. Also, click the bell so you can be notified when I make uploads and give me that thumbs up. Let's see if we can get this video to 100 likes. So you saw the thumbnail for the video. You saw the title of the video. So you're probably asking yourself, B, Brandon, B.A., what is going on? What are you talking about? Why in the world would you say that Disney and 20th Century Fox is insane? Why would you say they are crazy? I just don't understand. I mean, a couple of months ago when Disney signed on the dotted line to take all the film and television assets for 20th Century Fox, you was happy. You was praising it. You was talking about a celebration time. You made a couple of videos about it. So why would you now go and say that Disney and 20th Century Fox are are insane well let's get into that the reason why i am making this video and i really just don't understand why they are doing this is is the upcoming film release dates to a number of their films if you don't know what i'm talking about i'm talking about may yes may of 2018 there are three major films being released in this month at the same time and i just don't think that's a good idea i think it's a bit problematic maybe they're not insane maybe not they're not crazy but to be honest with you i just don't think it's a good idea and i wanted to talk about it i wanted to make this video i wanted you to know how i feel and i also want to know how you feel so the three movies that i am talking about is marvel studios the avengers infinity war comes out may the 4th of 2018 of course and then two weeks later we have uh deadpool the untitled deadpool sequel or deadpool 2 coming out may 18th and then one week later we have solo a star wars story and when you look at it the avengers in a star wars movie those two franchises are the two biggest uh films in all of history in all of film history they're in the top five of course at number one we have avatar number two we have titanic number three we have star wars uh the force awakens number four we have jurassic world and number five avengers so an avengers movie and a star wars movie in the top five of all time sales worldwide and you want to put those movies in the same month i mean i just don't really understand that at all now at the end of 2017 going into 2018 i was looking at the film the film slate i even made a uh, video that you can go check out earlier uh, this year in january it was my uh, top 10 most anticipated movies of 2018 you can go check that out and i was very pleased with the schedule that we had with all the big budget tempo films and me personally when you have a big budget tempo film um especially with it being a comic book me personally i don't know how you feel let me know in the comments i want that to be spread out as much as possible i don't want these movies on top of each other cannibalizing each other i just don't think that's a great idea i want all of these films to succeed to the best of their ability and make as much money as freaking possible so what am i what do i mean when i say the perfect movie year of uh films for this year what I mean is in February, which is coming, well, we're in right now, Black Panther is coming out February the 16th of 2018, being put out by Disney. Okay, that's great. Then we have next month, March, another Disney film, A Wrinkle in Time. Then the next month after that, we had New Mutants, which is being put out by 20th Century Fox, but that got pushed to 2019, unfortunately. I wasn't looking forward to that film for the most part, but you know, hey, I was still going to go in with an open mind. So that's February, Black Panther, March, uh, A Wrinkle in Time, and then April, New Mutants. And then, of course, May, we have Avengers Infinity War. And then in June, the way it was before, we had Deadpool. So you see where I'm going with this? You had one major movie once a month and then after june uh deadpool 2 then you have another marvel disney you have ant-man and the wasp i mean this is like perfect now the star wars the solo uh or a solo a star wars story that was originally announced in may but we just had the super bowl and going into ending 2017 going into 2018 if you looked at all the film publications and blogs and websites and ch 
chat rooms and forums and things like that, everybody's like, oh my gosh, where is the solo a Star Wars story trailer? Is there something wrong? Does the movie suck? I mean, what are they going to do? Are they going to be pushing this? They're going to push it to December. I bet they're going to push it to December. Or, you know, that Disney is trying to compete with Netflix now. Reasons why they bought 20th Century Fox, which is still pending right now, because they're coming out with their own streaming service for 2019. Maybe they're going to, you know, release the Star Wars. I keep saying a Star Wars solo, a Star Wars story on, you know, the first move on their streaming service. That's a little far fetched, but, you know, it's kind of delving into, you know, reality. You know, we were just going to have to wait and see. So even though a solo a Star Wars story was originally announced for May 23rd, no one really knew until it was announced during the Super Bowl or a couple of days before that, that it's going to stay on that date. But what I was saying is Deadpool 2 June, Ant-Man and the Wasp in July, and there's nothing in August right now. So you could have released a Star Wars uh, solo, a Star Wars story in August. So again, Black Panther in February, which would have been great. A Wrinkle in Time, another Disney movie in March. A New Mutants in April, but that was pushed out. Avengers Infinity War in May. Deadpool 2 in June. Ant-Man and the Wasp in July. And then Solo, a Star Wars story in August. Okay, and then September, you have a break. There's nothing there, but hey, what do you got? October, the next month, we have the Venom movie being put out by Sony. And then the next month of that, another 20th Century Fox film. Uh, X-Men, uh, was it not often to say New Mutants? X-Men, uh, Dark Phoenix. And then the month after that, in December, you have Aqua. Man, are you serious? So, like the 12 months of the year, the only time you did not really have a big giant comic book or tempo movie was January, which nobody cares about. That's the toilet bowl season of movies, and then you also have uh September. But I, I mean, I, I don't know. And you know, we all know that the summer movie season is from May to August, that's primary, and for the most part, Marvel Studios, Disney, they have the first week in May on lock, that's how it's going to Iron Man. Civil War, an Avengers film or something like that, you know, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 earlier this year, they have that spot sewed up, but in recent years, we have found out that people still go to the movies um, in excess throughout the year, I mean we, like I mentioned, um, Avatar, that came out in December, that did uh, you know, a hell of a lot, we've all had all these Star Wars movies, that did great uh, in December, last year we had Thor Ragnarok and Justice League, they both kind of came out in November, Justice League didn't do as well as we all expected, but Thor Ragnarok, that made $850 million worldwide, so that's freaking fantastic, it probably could have done more if Justice League wasn't released two weeks later, but hey, and then, you know, um, a number of years ago, and I think 2014, we had Guardians of the Galaxy being released August of 2014, that did well, uh, also earlier that year, we had Captain America Civil War, April of 2014, that went well, so, I mean, of course, the summer movie season is okay, but at the same time, since we're getting more and more and more giant blockbuster tentpole films, giant blockbuster comic book movies. I mean, I understand that you want to take, you know, you want to have it in the May from August, but at the same time, spread that out, okay? Because you have all these movies on top of each other. They're not just going to make that much money. So everything was perfect, but no, 20th Century Fox had to move up Deadpool 2 to May 18th, and I just don't understand that. I mean, and that's not Disney's fault, but at the same time, then Disney still wants to release a star a solo a star wars story may 23rd when you have avengers infinity war on may the 4th i just don't understand that avengers uh, infinity war may 4th two weeks later deadpool 2 and then a week after that solo a star wars movie i just don't understand that guys i mean all these movies are going to be successful i'm very confident of that but at the same time i want all of these movies all these films to make every dollar that they possibly can me me i you know i love film i love movies i love tv i'm gonna go see these regardless fortunately i do have uh enough in my budget to go and splurge on all these movies three times in the theaters each but everybody's not going to see that you know you want to have the biggest crowd people are going to be going with their family mothers fathers all that whatever guardians taking their kids I mean, this can be really expensive. Uh, you know, you got two, three, four kids. You looking at maybe $150, $200 that month just on the movies or even maybe more. I, I don't know. But I mean, I just really don't understand this. 
It doesn't make sense to me. They probably have some marketing geniuses in the studios punching all the numbers and like, okay, we have this right here. And, you know, I don't know. I mean, I'm just a little guy on YouTube with a YouTube channel, with a website, movie blog with barely over a thousand subscribers. So you're probably like, hey, you know, Brandon, you don't know what you're talking about. But hey, that's what the point of this channel is. It's just my opinion. And I want to be able to give my opinion to you. And I also want you to be able to give your opinion to me. So again, guys, I am just really don't understand what is going on why marvel uh why not marvel why disney um you know and fox are cannibalizing each other disney is competing with itself with avengers infinity war and solo star wars story both in may and then you know um fox is moving their dates up too it could have been perfect again i'm it, it, it just it would have been the perfect year you know february black panther march of wrinkling time April, the New Mutants, May, Avengers Infinity War, June, Deadpool 2, July, Ant-Man and the Wasp, August, Solo, A Star Wars Story, A Break in September, October, Venom, November, I forgot the name of the movie, Um, my goodness gracious, what's coming out of November, not New Mutants, the X-Men, Dark Phoenix, my goodness gracious, excuse me. And then December, Aquaman. And of course, you know, the Spider-Man animated movie comes out in December too. But, you know, that's an animated movie. But, you know, we're not going to, I mean, I don't know. We're getting uh, all these movies in May. And um, I just don't understand. I think it is a little silly, a little crazy. But, hey, I guess we're just going to have to see. And I hope that uh, we will all learn a lesson from this. So, Guys, that is just my opinion on all of these movies cannibalizing each other in the month of May of 2018. It's going to be an exciting month for me, but at the same time, I want it to be really, really exciting for the studios, too. So what did you think? You know, do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? Did my words turn you on? Did they turn you off? You know, let me know in the comment section below. Let's get this conversation going and keep it flowing. If you like this video, go ahead and give me the thumbs up. And if you don't, that's fine. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Go to my website. Also, check me out there. Bookmark it and look me up on social media, Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. It's right there at the bottom of your screen. And I made it very easy by providing a link to all that good stuff down in the description box below. But guys, I just want to thank you again for tuning in to this episode of Just My Opinion. Like my Facebook page. It'll really help me out. Subscribe and let me know if I'm blowing this out of proportion. And before you go, don't forget that my name is Brandon Keith Avery. And that's just my opinion. Peace.